Grammy's house, I am running about 40 minutes behind, um, but I'm pretty okay with that because I know that my family is always running behind, and I know that my mom had to get the, my mom and dad had to get the turkey done this morning, and then they had to still load it up in their car, so I'm going to guess they're at least 40 minutes late as well. Um, there's a new road to my grandma and grandpa's, apparently. It used to be you'd have to go all the way from one town all the way into the next one, then you'd have to go th actually through the town, and then back the other direction. Um, but Dad said they put in new roads and roundabouts, so hopefully I don't get lost. We'll see how that goes. I'm a little, um, apprehensive. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, I feel, I feel awkward sometimes in social settings still to this day. And I don't know, I don't know. I feel pretty today though. I did my hair, which by the way needs dyed. My sister does my hair. She's been doing an ombre, but I don't think I like ombre on my hair because I think ombre looks pretty on girls with straight hair because it's just this really subtle like transition down but curly hair is already so busy it's so textured so the last thing I need is highlights slash uh, with an ombre because then it's like roots texture two different colors I don't love it I think highlights look beautiful on my hair when they like aren't go all the way up because they really emphasize the the texture but this ombre thing I'm not in love with I need help any curly girls out there every time I want to lighten my hair like every time I whatever area I lighten relaxes I love the texture of my hair I love having healthy curls but I would love to also be able to have blonde hair without losing um, the bounce. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, it, uh, the areas where I lighten, a lot of areas re are relaxed. Um, so I don't know if, if any of you have tips or tricks or secrets. I, I did watch this curly girl online who she does like, like the protein or like the no protein. Is it protein? She does a treatment before she goes to get her hair done, like the day before. She does like the strengthening and repair and protein, but I can't recall what it was at the, off the top of my head. And then actually in her color, actually in her lightener, she puts like some kind of protein pack and then puts the lightener on. And then she does another like damage repair, moisture, protein type treatment afterward and her texture looked amazing like nothing had changed and her blonde was like white ice blonde so I'd love to figure out how to do that on my own hair the problem with curly girl I find is that a lot of curly girl um, like recommendations are for like thicker coarser texture hair you know, because a lot of curly girl tutorials, tutorials, there's not a lot of Caucasian curly girls, you know, with the very, my hair is in fact quite thin. The texture itself is thin. I just happen to have, or excuse me, yeah, the it's not very um, coarse. It's thin, it's brittle, but it is very curly when it's healthy and it's very well uh, moisturized and stuff. I have another video on my channel you have to go before I started messing with the color and damaging it. The, the girls were like amazing but now I've gone and done some damage. I gotta do a hair repair. Anyway, um, so I'd love to have that texture in blonde hair because I have, I have kind of olive undertone in my skin and I don't know, uh, and since I live in the Midwest I'm not lucky enough to have a tan, like a beautiful, fabulous tan all year round, so I get to be a pale olive tone, and, um, pale and olive tone with dark hair just looks very Wednesday autumn sickly, and, uh, yeah, 
And I hate spray tans because I just think they're a waste of money. I, I do. And I don't do a whole lot. I, I mean, I have. I'm not like some kind of freak who's never laid in a tanning bed. But I just, like, who has time for that? I don't have time for that. I'd just rather be pale with my icy blonde hair. I feel like it warms up my skin. I don't know. Well, then my friend Audrey loves my hair brown, so who knows? Oh, man, I hope everybody's not like mad that I'm running behind. I haven't got a text or call or anything, so I'm assuming everybody's running behind. if you guys think this is weird that I just have conversations while I'm driving. I mean, usually when you do stuff with your friends, you have conversations while driving, so I figure this is a good way for me to, to start getting some content, maybe. And then, uh, like, I'm so intimidated by editing and, you know, putting in pictures or sounds or any kind of video nonsense like that, but this, sit down, have a conversation, seems like the easiest, or most natural for me. I am a creative person, but I would definitely need to take a few courses on how to do those things, which is totally annoying because, like, my nieces and nephews and my kid sisters just happen to know how to do it. It's kind of like how our generation just knew how to do all things internet related but, but and apps and stuff and we had to teach our parents now my nieces and nephews just happen to know all things like media social media marketing and video editing as well as the base knowledge of all things like internet and apps and phones because they just grew up with it and the next generation is going to freaking know holograms and I don't even know flying cars and we're going to be like the old people going now where's the reverse button for this? That's my theory. I don't want to get old. Oh well. Although who knows? It would be awesome. The good thing about getting old is you get to like flip off small children and if you do it with a smile on your face people will just assume you're senile. I'm just <laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I got my coffee. Ooh, I got my business logo on there. I probably shouldn't show that to the world, especially since I post, I, I literally post for everybody to see on YouTube, and I post for um, everybody to see on my Instagram. So. Yeah, my business, the business I work for always gives away like pretty cool, pretty cool gifts around holidays. Like uh, last year I got an umbrella. It's the only umbrella I own because I've always been the type of girl who's like, I'm not buying an umbrella. I'm just going to run through the rain and pretend like I'm not drenched or just pull my hood up. Um, very low maintenance that way. I own purses, but I freaking hate carrying them. I always wind up carrying a wallet, like just the little hand clutch, and then I take my phone and my keys, like, and then I'm pissed because I'm trying to, like, juggle the three, but I just hate lugging a bag around. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't make good decisions. Okay, it's starting to look different. The road it looks changed. Let's see. We gotta read some signs here. So I know I need to go to. Okay, I've got to turn right here, and then. Okay, good. I've got it marked nicely, and it's really big and wide and beautiful. I don't even have to go down into that other town. I hated going into that other town because it was kind of like. Um, town that you'd have to go into and then pass through to turn back the other way was a very unkept, very sad little town. It's very well known for like 
drugs and stuff, and it's actually where I went to school when I was young, and just going back there kind of bums me out, like, even driving through it, it's like, oh, this place is depressing. Does anybody else have a place like that, that you go, and you're like, you don't go very often, but sometimes you have to drive through it, and, and you're just like, this place is such a bummer, it, like, literally zaps, like, your joy, like, right out of you, like, that's exactly how I feel about this town that I have to drive through, but now they just made it to where you can literally, like, they cut it off, so that works. Okay, let me read these signs. I've got to go, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go to straight, I guess. And then, yeah, this is weird. I feel really pretty today. I mean, minus my hair. I wish it was, I don't know why, but I wish my hair was like way bigger on top. Like maybe I should tease the crap out of it. Stuck at a stoplight? Why not? It's a little better. If I could just get a green light. Ready? Okay, green light. I have a feeling it was gonna do that. I was coming in hot. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Apparently, I do not know how to accelerate off the line without caught wreaking havoc on things, so. Ugh, my hair. Anyway. So, it goes straight here. Let's see what there is. Dad said there's a roundabout now, and I'll have to go. I don't turn right or left. I go straight, left, straight through. Obviously not straight through. I go. I'll see if I recognize any any um what, what are those called? If I recognize any landmarks? Yes. That because it was like it's just, I don't go this, through the city. What happened is they built this like over like an overpass or this big. road that cuts out through the country and that's where it gets confusing because since you're not going through the city there's like no landmarks because as I mentioned before I live in the country and it's field 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 and so then if they wind the road out through the country now I'm not sure what direction I'm pointing and then now they've added a couple stoplights but again it's all country on either side and they put a roundabout so I kind of confused in which direction I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure I'm, like, where I am, but since there's nothing familiar, no familiar landmarks, I'm like, I hope I'm going the right way. I do love that they cut this off. I bet I'm going to get there faster. I might not be a full 40 minutes late. I might be, like, 35 or 30, maybe, because I'm thinking this might have cut off a lot. Unless I actually get lost and then I'm gonna be an hour late. Oh. I'm assuming, oh here we are, I think it's a roundabout. I'm assuming we're gonna have 
rain today, but right now it's not raining. Which is weird because this is freaking December. In Indiana, there's supposed to be snow, but no, it's like 50 degrees today, which in Indiana is freaking summer. So, I mean, it's awesome, but it's also like super weird. Okay, so I got the roundabout and that said, whoop, go straight through. Let's see. Okay, actually, I think I know where I am. We'll see. I do think I know where I am. And that did cut off a lot. Yeah, because there's this really big, uh, beautiful Victorian house that's on my left hand side. And I'm used to, like, after I go through the town and I turn back the other direction so I can come to my grandma's. There's the, I usually have to go past that house. That did cut, that cut off a lot. I wonder what time it is. Because, um, yeah, I might still be, be all right on time. I'm still late. I'm just not as ridiculously late, which is nice. I hope my aunt and uncle don't come over because they are so unkind. They're just unkind. And I don't want them to make it a bummer or awkward, an awkward bummer. I think I'm about there and I don't know what else to say to you guys and I'll have to keep you posted let you know how Christmas went maybe I'll record a little bit of that and then we'll just like dub it in together I'll try and snip it together we'll see how that goes um, anyway love you guys hope you know you're loved and that you matter and that you're beautiful I'll talk to you later bye